Psst. Get over here and take a peek. We got ourselves a nice patch of tri-cornered lake. Hi folks, I'm Peter B and I'm here to tell you that plant names are weird. Today's plant, for instance, I learned under the name Tri-Cornered Leek on a guided foraging walk. I have a book which calls the plant Three-Cornered Leek or Three-Cornered Garlic. Uh, I've also seen it referred to as Wild Garlic and Wild Garlic is a name that I was taught in relation to another plant entirely and that plant that I know as Wild Garlic has many different names all around the globe. So you can see why the nerds like to use the Latin names for plants to avoid the confusion. But Latin names don't really seem to stick in this old noggin, so I tend to just use whatever common name I learn the plant by. Anyhow, don't let all this confusion turn you off of foraging. Once you really get to know a plant, the name won't even matter. You just know it as a character in your landscape, the character that pops up around this time and smells like that and tastes like that and you could call it Billy Bob or Susie Snake or whatever you want, but oh, it can be confusing sometimes, but don't let that get in your way. So without further ado, let's go and get all foragey with Tricornered Leek. Tricornered Leek is a member of the onion family, which has been said to grow pretty much all year round, though it is most recognizable around April and May when it tends to be flowering. There are some other plants with similar shaped white flowers, but look for the thin green line that runs through each flower petal. Also look for the three-sided triangular stem. These things combined with the smell of onion or garlic when you crush a bit of the plant will tell you for sure that you've got yourself some tri-cornered leek. These flowers are an amazing, juicy, sweet oniony snack while out foraging, and they're also great tossed into a salad. Any part of the plant can be thrown into a stir fry or cooked with other vegetables. I particularly love the flower buds just before they've opened up. These buds are fantastic pickled in a nice brine. But so far, my favorite thing to do with this plant is to ferment it and make what I call tri-cornered leek kraut. This can be done exactly the same way you'd make sauerkraut. Just get a healthy sized bunch of the plant, flowers and all, shred it up and add a bit of salt. The salt is not necessarily for flavor, instead it is used to help the plant start sweating, releasing the water inside of it, which can be further helped by massaging it a bit, gently squeezing out the liquid. Once you've got it all chopped up and lightly bruised, you then pack it into a jar and start pressing down, trying to get the liquid to rise above the plant matter. I find that tri-cornered leek is an especially great plant to do this with because it's so juicy inside, you never need to add any additional liquid. You may find you need to let it rest for a while and then come back and press down a bit more later, but eventually you'll be able to get that liquid well above, especially with the help of some kind of weight put in there to continually press down. At which point you simply leave this to ferment, preferably in some place not too cold. The warmer the environment, the faster the fermentation. I have found that after a week or 10 days, this kraut is ready to eat, making a delicious snack or great little side dish full of all those great little bacteria buddies that make our gut happy. Yummy.